And right now, guys, we are at the second game of this amazing finals, right? Between RNG with the Sea with Chicken. Right now, we have Nidra with the Zyrus Cross. Just want to let you guys know the score is one to one. Even though we've only played one game so far, RNG had uh, one game in hand because they did not go to the lower bracket, right? So, but with a really good draft and good play by Ruby, he just made it into a one to one between both teams, right? So right now we are back to square zero. Nidra and Zyrus Cross have an opportunity to put their seat, to put their team into the driving seat. Cerise banned because Cerise has been a pain in the ass for everyone. Oh, are we going to see a cleave team right here? Yeah? Yes, I've not seen a cleave team since I cleaved somebody during my elimination match. Yeah, so let's just see how it goes. A lot's first pick, Nidra picks last for the crowd. I mean, you should expect a cleave coming soon, so you should definitely prepare yourself. But an A lot's a lot speak, we don't really say that there's this cliff coming down. There is still a chance for Zyrus to pivot himself from the draft and go to some well. tanky team or maybe a cruiser team or a control team. So Nidra picks Ruel and Last Rider Crowd. Again, it's Ruel in France Convoy. Very good pick. So tanky, so beefy. Yes, Zyrus picks a Kron as well. A lot's Kron. You, you are seeing big damage right here. But the uh, A lot's not fully awakened. Might, if if A lot's died. But very close is because of the fifth awakening, yeah, guys. So let's take see. Is Zyrus gonna stick to cleaving, or is he gonna make a U turn and go bruiser? Yes, he makes a U turn and prop goes with the FCC. He's like, hold up, nope, not no cleaving today. I'm gonna go back to the bruiser, yeah. Because if he wins, he puts his thing into the driving seat. So Ruby probably, hey, no cleave, no cleave, man. Okay, 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 okay. Then if he picks FCC, okay, so he picks FCC. So Nidra right now identifying that. It's actually a FCC pick. Maybe he's trying to go a loss to push first turn, snipe someone, and then you know a lot of uh, combat readiness identifies this. So Nidra will have to see how does he can go against this. Is he gonna go control? Are you gonna go speed? And he goes to the Tissuin and he goes to the Broman draft as well. And so Zyros and the other hand instant immediately picks Specti and probably gonna lock down a Cham Z. I mean, the only person who can deal spec the last right across ulti, Tisrin's ulti, and Broman if he, he procs his first skill and also his ulti as well. So, it's a very interesting draft with the spec T pick right there. It really, it, it, if you don't deal with the spec T, the spec T is going to do a lot of damage to you. However, if you can get rid of the spec T very early, you probably see yourself in a land of a very comfort land, yeah? Because I do assume oh, that the Aeon is going to give the turn to spec T. So, oh, and Nidra picks. RB last pick, so I do believe that he got to get rid of RB. RB will probably get and get rid of Spec T, yeah? but it really depends on the draft as well. I mean, the bands as well. Draft wise, it is a, it's a very new perspective. I do seldom see draft like this in RT, of course, yeah. But for Nidra, Nidra picks pretty standard. Um, very good unit. Zyrus as well, he's trying to experiment some stuff with the first pick A Lords, and then he straight pivot to FCC K Ron, and he goes back to C Zerato and Spec T. So that's an equal balance in terms of offensive power. He gets rid of A Lords, Nidria, and then Zyrus gets rid of T Surin, yeah. So do, they do understand that this game is very important because you put your your team into a driving seat two to one. The, the score right now is one to one. So it really depends on decision making, especially on equipment speed as well, and a series of RNG. So Broman goes first. Are you going to land the silence? I... Ah. No if anything, I do think Broman needs a longer stuff. That's the that's more stuff. Don't not don't look very scary. But on the other hand, he gets the strip. Cesarato counters and silence Broman, but did not silence a uh, RB. All right. So FCC right now is silence as well. That silence on FCC is huge. Okay. Because it, right now crowd would, will be able to have do big damage that provoke as well is huger than the silence right if he did not provoke you will see big damage and good night facty or probably good night k1 as well so he goes with normal attack gets it on fcc and k1 what a shame if he gets it on facty i do think specty was down so specty when to have a chance to actually get one auto attack right here so he goes with the auto attack on broman Okay, Broman looks like he's about to go down, yeah? It's about to go down. Kevin Hart right there. So Ruel is probably going to heal Broman to so give Broman another chance to actually do his first kill and probably, by all means, get the pushback as well. Oh, he goes on RB. Okay. So he's going to go on FCC because I do believe when you attack FCC, you get double chance to land the, your second passive. Is he going to get it? He didn't get it. Okay, he didn't get it. So Chamzy right now is going to do... Auto attack or maybe AOE because it's immunity, so you will not land a attack buff and defense break. So it really depends on what he does. Are you going to do big damage with team? Are you going to get rid of Broman? He goes for the Broman. 
Roma is on the brink of that. Still hanging a whole lot a little longer. Hodor, you know, Hodor. So at last Rider Cross is gonna go right now, gonna just probably auto attack in front of the lap. With speed buff, this guy is room room right here, man. Ducati goes on the K Ron in the attempt of trying to get immortality. So K Ron's gonna go right now, probably all the on Broman and get Broman out of the picture. Yes, he does that. So right now, in terms of unit wise, Zyros has the upper hand with one unit extra, but RB has another uh, another life as well. And there's Ruel to revive back Broman, right? It was a Wind Raider K Ron. Yeah, it's pretty nice. I like the artifact. Gets a dual attack. Did not strip anything. I'm not sure what's the artifact on Champion Zato. So RB right now is gonna do his uh last kill. I don't see what's RB's last kill name, right? All we know is descending blade. Almost kills FCC, almost kills Pacti. Specti is not able to do the stun because of the silence from Broman, right? Broman has been doing so much work and even from the first turn, silencing FCC, silencing Specti. That is really huge, man. That first turn was really huge. Wow, okay, so last rider crowd go. Gets a dual attack from RB and annihilates Chamzy and and get and put K1 into immortality. That dual attack is huge. That is as big as a PP man. Gets rid of FCC. It looks like Nydria has this round. Is the K1 gonna do enough damage to kill Ruel? Is that a, a win rider card? He's not gonna do enough damage to kill Ruel. The Ruel is gonna be super thick. He has a miss debuff. RB has no life. I I can tell you right now, the second game definitely is going to Nydria's round but Zyros of course in the game of sportsmanship is not going to throw a tower he's going to fight till the end is he going to kill it's a POV Ruel he he crits oh, even with Nidma but it's a POV Ruel maybe if it was not a proof of whether Ruel he could probably have killed Ruel but with that being said Nydra has gotten the second game in hand pushing RNG 2-1 to one in their favor so we're going to the third game right now and I'll pass it back over to Owl